Stroke Recovery How Bilateral Movements Retrain Your Brain Hello friends, and welcome back to another DART Rehab video. Have you ever left the doctor's office with a prescription in hand, only to take the pills inconsistently or quit altogether? Because you weren't quite sure how they actually help. Once you understand why a medication works, you usually stick with it. The exact same principle applies to rehabilitation. When you know how a specific exercise rewires your brain and body, you do it with more focus, energy, and consistency. That's why, in today's episode Stroke Recovery, How Bilateral Moviri, we're taking a deep dive into bilateral closeted exercises. I teased these moves in a recent YouTube short, but now it's time for the full story. What bilateral movements are. How they activate both hemispheres and reduce neural traffic jams after stroke. Step-by-step -step demos you can practice today, whether you're a patient, caregiver, or therapist. So grab a comfortable seat, hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss our weekly rehab tips. Drop any questions in the comments I read every single one and remember, train both hands, heal the brain, and keep moving forward. Let's get started. Bilateral movements are one of the most effective and research-backed techniques in stroke rehabilitation especially for the arms and hands. These are exercises where both arms move together, like lifting them at the same time. Let me quickly walk you through the top benefits of bilateral movements for stroke recovery. Activates both sides of the brain. After a stroke, usually one side of the brain is damaged. Bilateral movements help stimulate both hemispheres at the same time. This boosts the communication between the healthy and the affected side, a process called interhemispheric connectivity. The stronger the connection, the better the recovery. Reduces over inhibition from the healthy side. Sometimes, the healthy side of the brain becomes too dominant and ends up suppressing the damaged side. Bilateral training helps quiet down that overactivity, giving the weaker side a better chance to reactivate and regain function, and boosts neuroplasticity your brain's ability to rewire. Repetition of these two-sided exercises helps the brain form new neural pathways. This amazing ability is called neuroplasticity. It's how the brain adapts and rebuilds. Basically, you're teaching your brain new ways to move, even when old pathways are damaged. Helps the weaker arm move again. When you move both arms together, the stronger arm can sort of pull the weaker one along, especially in mirror-like movements. So even if one arm isn't moving much on its own, the brain still gets signals and that alone helps kickstart recovery. Improves coordination and balance between both sides. Life takes to hands dressing, cooking, typing. Bilateral training helps your body relearn symmetry and coordination, which are essential for doing daily tasks more smoothly and independently. So, in short, train both arms together, reconnect your brain, and move toward recovery one rep at a time. Ready to try a few of these exercises with me? Let's get into it. Now, let's start with our first bilateral movement. Raising both arms above shoulder level. This may look simple, but it offers powerful benefits for stroke recovery. If you are dealing with spasticity just like the young patient you're seeing in this video, let me tell you, there's no excuse. You can clearly see the determination in their effort. Despite limited range of motion, they're doing their best to move their arm against the resistance of spasticity. That kind of effort is truly admirable. Progress isn't about perfection, it's about persistence. If they can keep going, so can you. Let's move together. Yes, it's true spasticity may temporarily increase with repetition. That's a normal response. But don't let it stop you, with every movement, the muscles are being challenged, and as a result, spasticity can spike for a short time. That's why we always combine the movement with gentle stretching and relaxation, just like you see in this video. 
Thanks for surviving my long explanation. Stick around. Things are about to get more interesting. In this case, the patient is also dealing with body image issues a common but often overlooked challenge after stroke. When one side of the body feels weak or disconnected, the brain can start to forget that side. This is where bilateral movement becomes powerful. By involving the healthy side in movement, the brain gets more sensory feedback, which helps the patient reconnect with the affected limb, both physically and mentally. It's not just about moving the arm, it's about reclaiming it as part of your body. Every repetition is a reminder to the brain. This side still belongs to me. These bilateral exercises also have a positive impact on posture and body alignment. They help patients maintain a more balanced and symmetrical position, which is essential for both sitting and standing activities. In this patient, Despite having a good range of motion, there are still signs of impaired body image. They struggle with fully recognizing and integrating the affected limb into movement. That's why this bilateral exercise is so helpful it gives the brain clear, repeated feedback that both sides are involved, connected, and part of one body. Movement alone isn't always enough the brain also needs to believe that the limb belongs. Through consistency and support, we help rebuild not just motion, but body awareness and confidence. Some patients, even after I carefully explain the benefits of bilateral movement, still choose to perform exercises using only their affected side. They're often very determined and that effort is truly admirable. But this also shows how deeply personal and complex stroke recovery can be. Sometimes, it takes time and trust for patients to fully understand that bilateral movement isn't a shortcut, it's a smarter pathway to recovery. It's not about giving up on the weak side, it's about giving it support from the strong side. If the patient doesn't yet have the ability to move the affected arm on its own, don't worry you can still do the exercise just like this patient in the video. Here's how. Use your stronger hand to support the affected arm, especially around the elbow. This way, both arms can move together, even if one of them isn't fully active. This is called active assisted movement and it's incredibly valuable in early recovery. It's not about cheating or forcing the movement. It's about reminding the brain what coordinated movement feels like. Even this simple assistance sends strong signals to the brain and helps restore connection to the weaker limb. In this part of the video, you can see a patient who previously refused to try bilateral movements. But now they're making an effort. We're giving them the time and space to understand the movement and to gradually learn the correct technique. Progress takes patience not just from the patient, but from the whole rehab team. It's not about perfection, it's about being open to trying. And this moment is a big step forward. So if you are a patient watching this, or a caregiver or therapist working with someone like this just know, understanding takes time. Be patient, stay consistent, and keep reinforcing the science behind the method. Eventually, most patients come to realize that bilateral movement isn't just easier, it's often more effective. To keep this video from getting too long, 
I'll share the rest of the effective bilateral exercises in another episode. Hope you enjoyed this one and found it helpful. See you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.